Hi everybody, um, my name's Steph and today I'm going to bring you um, another review. I'm going to show you yet another pen from my collection. And today ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is a beautiful Mont Blanc uh, 342 vintage fountain pen. It's a piston filler. Um, the 342 is from the regions of well it's from the 1950s and it comes in this beautiful black um, I believe it's made of um, an acrylic uh, an acrylic plastic comes with uh, gold plated trim um, in regards to a gold plated cap ring there and uh, the gold plated um, Mont Blanc clip also to the top what we have is a very recognizable Mont Blanc um, logo to the very top of the cap there um, as I say this particular pen um, is from the 1950s it's a smallish pen with regards to uh, Mont Blancs i.e. the size from the top of the cap here to the bottom is approximately 127 millimeters so it means that it's 127 millimeters capped um, the diameter of the barrel is approximately 11 11 millimeters um, so with regards to size um, some people think it's a little bit on the small side although personally I think it's it's a beautiful beautiful pen as I say it's a piston filler so at the end here we have the piston knob and while we're showing the knob um, I don't know if you can actually see that but what it actually has to the piston knob is an F with an arrow okay so let's try and show you another close-up of that hopefully you can see it as I say just to the the piston knob there it has an F with an arrow which um, indicates that this particular pen has a fine nib which we'll show you in a moment okay so as I say we'll just give you a couple of more little twirls of it a beautiful beautiful pen incidentally um, this pen has been fully serviced so it's um, ready to go to be placed in uh, somebody's prized collection or um, if you wish it's ready to ready to write let's show you inside the cap here <coughs> and the first thing you'll recognize um, with some of the 1950 pens um, you'll recognize it has this beautiful clear blue ink view ink view window if you like to show you um, the ink inside the pen um, it has this nice straight section here and the nib um, let's again show you a close up hopefully we can we can actually see that the nib actually reads um, Mont Blanc um, with the Mont being to the top and Blanc underneath uh, underneath that it has uh, 14 14 carats and then underneath that we have um, Mont Blanc 585 uh, one thing that you'll recognize because on the older style pens um, they didn't have the uh, the Mont Blanc logo to, to the nibs okay so I'm hoping that you can actually see that if we turn the nib over what you'll see it has this ebonite um, feed underneath underneath the nib there okay so that's the the Mont Blanc feed underneath and actually just while I'm showing you the nib the the nibs on the 342 sort of vintage Mont Blanc pens were actually interchangeable which meant that what we could actually do is actually unscrew the whole nib which there we have 
Okay, so at this point, if the the nib is not to your to your liking or to your writing style, you could actually change it with a a broader or a finer or oblique bit, whatever that suits your writing style. So they were actually well, they were interchangeable nibs. So what we'll do, we'll pop that back. We'll screw it back into into the pen like so. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. At this point, what you'd actually do is replace it with a nib to your liking, and away you would go um, right away in the in a nib that suits your writing. As I say, it's a piston filler, so what it simply means is that if we unscrew the piston knob here, what you'll actually see, hopefully, is the piston within the barrel going all the way up to to this section and there it is ladies and gentlemen there's the piston within the within the ink view um, window there and if we tighten it up you'll see that the piston retracts all the way back inside inside the barrel there okay so that is the how the piston system works inside and for you people that are going to tell me off before I even start, yes, what we'll do, we'll fill the pen, in, pen for you to show you how you actually fill the pen. So what we do at this point, um, we actually unscrew the piston knob at the end there, which means that the piston will go all the way up to the, to the section there. And at this point, what we'd actually do is dip the pen in our ink we tighten up the piston knob to the top there like so once we've done that let's just give it a, a little wipe with our tissue and at this point we'll take away the ink and replace it with our with our pad here so what we have is a Mont Blanc and obviously the model number being 342. Now this pen, um, although it says F on the piston knob at the end, um, it actually has a little bit of a flex to the to the nib. As you can see on the downward stroke, it is quite quite thick. And on the stroke across, you can actually achieve a thinner, uh, a thinner line. So, just with a little bit of pressure, it does have actually. It is actually a flexible nib. While I'm actually writing, what we'll actually do is tell you that. Welcome, number two. So. This pen I will again I'll be parting company with and if you would like to be the lucky owner then what you need to do is keep on watching and the pen will be on a well known auction site so take note of that and don't be shy have a bid and who knows you could be the lucky owner of this particular pen and if we show you the close up window now as you can see you can clearly see that the uh, the pen actually has ink inside so you can actually as you're writing away you can actually see when it's running out um, and it's ready to re to refill so there we have it ladies and gentlemen that is my beautiful beautiful Mont Blanc 342 fountain pen as I say this is a vintage pen from the 1950s in my opinion, and it's it's in an excellent condition. It's a beautiful pen. Um, it's been fully serviced. Um, obviously, the pen will be rinsed before it goes to um, its lucky new owner. Um, it's been fully serviced. It's ready to go. Absolutely beautiful pen. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 
if you would like to be the lucky owner of this pen then don't be shy go and go on to that particular site have a bid and who knows this could be sat now well not now obviously but when you actually purchase it it can be sat within your collection or you could be writing with this beautiful pen so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you and as much as I've enjoyed owning the pen and don't forget you people out there don't be shy um, I'll also be listing this on YouTube so don't be shy leave a comment subscribe um, a lot of people are looking at uh, all my reviews but for some reason people have been quite shy and not leaving any comments so hey don't be shy leave a comment have a look and for now Bye now.